everybody. Of course, the music gives it away. Time for our junior anchor segment. Of course, because of social distancing, we've done things differently. Our junior anchors have not been able to come into our studio, but we still want to highlight these incredible young people, including John Carter Myers. He is a fifth grader in Knoxville who served on his safety patrol and is, was an anchor for the Rocky Hill News Team. Here's his audition. Thank you. You may be seated. Today's vocabulary word is picayune, adjective, of little value or account, small, trifling. Daily announcements today is day five for special rotations and day six for fourth grade. Fifth, third, and first grade classes have li that have library will meet in classrooms. All cross country members will meet at 2.15 in the gym for a team picture. As we finish up our broadcast, here's an interesting news report. In 1869, Lucy Stone established the American uh, Women's Suffrage Association. The organization, the organization supports the 15th Amendment and works for women's suffrage. After the Civil War, the 15th Amendment was passed, which gave newly freed African American men the right to vote. This happened in the year 1870, but women were outraged that the amendment did not include them. They eventually gained the right to vote and became even more important. Wait, getting the right to vote became even more important to women after the 15th Amendment was passed. The right to vote is called suffrage. People who fight for the right to vote are called suffragists or suffragettes. Thank you for watching the KRHS Morning News and have a great day at Rocky Hill. Teachers, don't forget your attendance. Stay tuned for a spe special presentation. What a good John Carter. He also loves playing basketball and making people laugh. Sounds like a little Russell Jr. Recently, he recorded this video on what he's been doing at home. Hello, everybody. My name is John Carter Myers, and I am a fifth grader at Rocky Hill. I was chosen to be a junior anchor for the WBIR studio, but of course, I can't be in the studio. So I thought I'd make this video showing you what I've been doing while we have been at home. As you can see, we got a sign because we had to end the school year early. So we got this since we're fifth graders and we won't see our teachers from there again in the school year. Also, I've been making stuff like this birdhouse and this Mother's Day gift for my mom, which is a clay pot with succulents. And I've also been doing other things like badminton and basketball and playing video games outside, inside, in the doorway, everything. That's kind of everything that I've been doing, so uh, I guess that's me signing off. Thank you for choosing me to be a junior anchor, and uh, goodbye. Great to hear from you, John Carter. Cannot wait to have you in studio at some point, hopefully soon. Great job to you. You're a natural and sweet Mother's Day gift, too. Impressed. Clay Pot with succulents. He's been a very busy young man. Well,